Hey, this is Better Mix, and today I'm gonna show you how to control fracture geometry. Better Mix. Alright, so fracture geometry, it's really nice to do in Houdini. I'm gonna show you how you can control it to make it do whatever you want. So let's start with a friend Roberto. Roberto, of course, is gonna be the hero today. Let's put it up here. Okay, fracture him real quick with the modify, um, with the model shatter tool here. I'm gonna put a lot more pieces, like a hundred. Now we have a bunch of pieces uh, there. You can see them there, pretty cool. So now we just need to uh, make this a rigid body. So let's make this a fracture object. Uh, packed object is cool. Uh, let's create a ground plane for it to fall. And now if we rewind and play, now it's fracturing like that. But what if we want this to gradually fall into the ground or we just want an area of the object to be active, not the whole thing? Well, this is pretty cool, pretty cool and easy to do in Houdini. You can just go here inside. And we're gonna use a multi-solver to do two things here. So let's disconnect this guy from the rigid body solver. And we let's create a multi-solver, multiple solver. We're gonna plug Roberto there to the object. Now this is gonna be going here, and the rigid body solver is gonna be here. But we need another solver, which is the sub solver. And we're gonna put that first here, put it up so it's before the rigid body solver. And right now this setup works exactly as it was working before because the sub solver is no, doing nothing right now. But we have now the opportunity here or the advantage to actually control the geometry before simulation. So let's create a group here. I remember the package primitives is basically just points. So you're dealing basically with this, uh, sorry, this point, uh, I removed and use. This is what you're dealing with with pack primitives. So we're just dealing with points here. So it's uh, what we're gonna do is just group some points. Let's do use a group. Let's call this active, uh, not in caps, active group. And here we're gonna change these two points and disable this one, go to the bounding one and enable bounding sphere. So we have this sphere that we can use to, to group points. Um, let's move it to an area that we want. Let's say the head. So the only the head's going to be uh, simulated for this. Can make it a little bit larger if we want, just covering the area of the head. Now we are going to use a natural wrangle to make those uh, points active. So before we do that, let's go back here. You can see this object, it's active when you create that um, fracture, when you use this fracture tool, it creates active objects, right? If we middle click here, you can see there's an attribute called active, which is just an, an integer. If we change this to static and now we simulate this, it's gonna stay there. It's not gonna move at all. It's just like off the floor, it's, just, it's a static object. But we're gonna do here inside the geometry is we're gonna tell the, the points that are inside this group, there are gonna be the few ones here at the head, you're gonna make those uh, active with the wrangle. So let's uh, put the group here, make sure you select that group that we're selecting. And let's just put that attribute here, it's I uh, attribute active equals one. So this is pretty simple, it's, this is what we're doing, just doing an, an uh, integer attribute active, we're setting that to one, but only to the points that are in this group. That's the key here. Now we go back and play, now you can see only those points are being moved around or simulated, even they collide with the ones that are static here, which is pretty cool, pretty cool.
So we can do something else here. Maybe just copy these guys, move them here, make another one. Uh, let's change the group to active and name for animation and set the group here as well. Don't forget to set the group. And now we're just gonna animate this sphere. So let's put it below. And we're gonna say at frame one is gonna be a size of zero. Zero. And frame maybe 48 uh, size that covers the whole thing. So that's covering the whole model there. Add a keyframe there. Now if we go up and uh, rewind and play, now you can see it's falling. It's following that, that it's grouping here. As you can see the group, it's animated like that. We can see it here. It's growing and it's uh, starting to cover those points and they start, they become active and then start falling. So now you can see we, ha we have complete control of these guys. We can just activate and deactivate them whenever we want. That's pretty cool. And let me open another example here. You can see I have a piece of glass here that I just want to maybe animate the points on the center. This could be also like a wall or something like that. And I don't want uh, all those points at the edges. I mean, those pieces at the edges to animate or move ever at all. And I could just go there. I do the same setup here. In the sub solver, I'm just using the same thing here. I'm using uh, um, a group. Uh, bounding sphere there. I animated uh, like that. You can see it's animated there. Just I just want the the points on the center to move. I want the rest of it to be uh, to stay. I want the rest of it to stay uh, static. And uh, what I'm also doing here, in, instead of just changing those to active, I'm also adding velocity to them so they actually get pushed uh, away as they become active. So this could be maybe a character is pu punching through a wall or a bullet is hitting a glass or something like that. You can totally control that here. You can see that's what's happening. She's pretty cool. We have something that it's pretty dynamic and it's just completely under our control. All right, guys, this is it. This is the project for today. I hope you enjoyed this. It's pretty amazing that you can control uh, your geometries. Uh, any way you like and dynamics is not something that just does whatever it wants It's something that you can control completely and it's pretty good to know how to control stuff in Houdini All right guys, this is it for today. Let's keep learning together. This is better mix and I'll see you in the next one Cheers